boobies! I want my Duke Nuka boobies again. The monster that you fight next have big titties. I'll say this right now, I will not fucking touch that thing. It is just too damn ugly. I don't even, I don't even know why they made that thing, it's so stupid. It's supposed to be probably his lust, that how much it would turn him into a monster. Hell, his, lust, his lust came in monstrous form? Yeah. Dude. He, everything uh, in his casino or all that has either hot chicks, naked chicks, or just chicks having sex in general. <laughs> it's a yeah, work that lever. Work there's it. Symbol, there's symbolism in freaking Duke Nukem Forever. What is this, an Atlas game? Probably. I don't know. Atlas games have either snowboard kids or giant penis monsters. Is that even Steve Free? Could be Steve. Uh, I'm not joking. <laughs> you ever played any of the Shin Megami Tensei games? Nope. Yeah. Play one of them and you definitely see what I mean. But then again, I probably will never play any of them because I suck at tactical RPGs. Everyone sucks at them. All you're doing will make you better. People talk so much about the new Fire Emblem game in Shin Megami Tensei 4, like, Oh, it's so great, Ethan, you need to play it, but I suck at those tactical RPGs. If I admit, you know, I you, suck at you it. You probably yeah. be one of the foot soldiers, not the person who's actually being in command. Yeah, exactly. I, I would be more of a pawn than the leader itself. I mean, seriously. Well, welcome to the world, then. You are always a pawn in someone why... else's plan. Well, and they yours. Well, those... Shit just got real, didn't it? Well, there's <laughs> a saying that says that, um, you know, everybody, including you, can be disposable. I am not disposable, damn it! I don't want to be disposable. Nobody, nobody wants to be disposable, but nobody can keep their job forever. I can. It's called killing everybody off so then they can hire no one else. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to keep your job. You go to jail at that point. What the hell is shooting at you? Those fucking psychic assholes. Flying lightning psychic jackass bitch fucks. <laughs> I want that to be the name of this part. <laughs> psychic bitch ass whatever you say. <laughs> Bunch of psychic bitch ass lightning flying fucks. That is the name of this part. Sounds like a B-rated movie. <laughs> Starting you know Deadpool. What? It probably is. Who am I? I'm Deadpool. The Merc with the mouth. Seriously, and now he decided to actually use the hammers the again. The hammer! You want me to put the hammer down? No, not really. Oh, oh. First I was a villain. Okay. Oh, oh damn it, you ruined the fun of it all. But that sucked, so I tried to be a You're a guy dick, like Captain America. I know. Captain America, here to fuck with your buzz. I thought you were gonna say Captain Planet. <laughs> Captain oh, I can. Planet! <laughs> Dude, I'm actually surprised Captain Planet doesn't have a reference in here, I don't think. Protect the environment, or I'll fucking kill you! Kill ya! Captain Planet! Oh, uh, uh, throw, <laughs> throw a can in the trash instead of a recycling bin. Yeah. Captain Planet, kick! Hey, Captain Planet! Ah, uh, Robot Chicken, I hope you never end. Uh, I haven't watched Robot Chicken in years. Years? Pretty sure you lost, watched it last year. I don't remember. Was there was there a certain special that came out last year? I'm pretty sure it was the Star Wars one. No, no, they've been done with the Star Wars specials for a while. You could be right. I may be thinking about the DC Universe uh, special. Yeah, that one, that one. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe not years, months, but still. Been been a long time though, because that was the last thing I ever saw of Robot Chicken was the DC Universe one. I'll see this right now. Honestly, God, I can't even remember a single one of them. All right, I want your honest opinion. Who is your okay, least liked I'll character in all of X Men? Follow me. I don't know. Honest to God. 
Yeah, Mine... could, it, could could it be it could be anyone, heroes or villains? Yes. I don't know, maybe Sabretooth. Yeah, he's just a yeah, I kind of agree. He's kind of knocked off. My he's a one-dimensional like villain. My least liked villain, um, let's see, Toad, because he's just fucking Toad, he's a goddamn annoying piece of shit. Oh, Toad from X-Men, oh, yeah. Then there's my least liked hero, it's either between Jubilee or Gambit. A view yeah, I think Gambit's just trying too hard to be badass. I think that's one of his flaws. Yeah. Because I remember, like, when the 90s show, you know, came out, I was like, oh, Gambit this, Gambit that. It's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but, you know, they're, they're trying to make him... He's, he's trying to hard, too hard to be badass. Yep. The design of him is pretty cool, but I don't know. How can you get behind a guy who throws cards? I mean, Joker does that. Yeah, well, Joker uh, Joker doesn't have cards that he can throw that are uh, full of energy that can kill people. He just throws razor-sharp cards. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't need a damn superpower in order to kill people with them. Neither does Batman. And you know what? That's why they're the greatest superhero and supervillains ever. Because they don't need jack shit to fuck with your shit. I mean, hell. Batman and you get an achievement for getting all these chests, by the way. And I point... And it, that would be the last one, the one I grabbed. But you already have the achievement, don't Deep you? Doop. Actually, I turned them off. So while you're playing this game, uh, never mind. I playing this game with uh, by having the whole notifications turned off. I think about around this time. Oh, okay. Woo! And yay, another 2D section that really reminds me of. A bit of Catherine and, and Prince of Persia. Mario. More Prince of Persia than anything else. Because Prince of Persia was originally a t uh, side-scrolling game. I'm going to point this out. I hate the Xbox 360 version. The, the Xbox 360 version of what? Prince of Persia. What are you talking about? The, the supposed to be new one, Prince of Persia. The one where you basically can't die. Period. Oh, you're talking about that lame reboot thing that came out like in 2007 or something like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I that like game the story, sucked. But the fact that the story was just sh I mean, not the story, but the gameplay was just shit. Yeah, the gameplay was the worst part about it. For me. The worst th part still was that they had an epilogue and they never even decided to finish it. Nope, they never did. And you know what? I'm glad that game doesn't see the light of day anymore because it was such a fucking bore. I will say this, I would enjoy a sequel if they'd done it better, but the, the, the original definitely cannot be used like, ever again. I definitely do love Sands of Time and Warrior Within and the Two Thrones. Uh, that's some good, good Prince of Persia game. So who the hell created the, the one I was talking about? Uh, I think Ubisoft still did it because it was it's a Ubisoft game. Like, themselves developed the game. Ah. Uh. But it's just that I'm not too sure what development team It was team probably one it. of those, I'm pretty sure it was one of those like third party development teams. Because you know how that is. When a company's not truly dedicated to something, it usually get, turns to shit. And I fucking hate this part. Even though I usually get it so easily, it's just fucking annoying the hell out of me. Well, it's more of the fact that um, when people usually give up old franchises to these new developers, it's more of the fact is like they want to move on forward. No, it's not that they gave it to new developers. Just they, uh, mo like most game companies, they decide to leave a small group of their company to do it, while the rest of it works on something more. Okay, then if you explain it like that, yeah, that goes still goes back to my point. Same, like, yeah. Does that remember Gears of War Judgment? That game could have been. A lot better, but only a small group were actually working on it. And hey, look, it's our detonator friend! I think he's pissed at us. So wait, oh god! Us. Suck us! So what are you doing? You're just deflecting these barrels back at him? 
Yeah, they're fighting off skeletons they shoot at us. You know what I think? I think it's ah, no shit, what makes you think that, Dipple? The fact that he's spewing out all sorts of random enemies at you, like a common enemy root generator, or the fact that he's shooting explosive barrels at you that don't look like explosive barrels. That looks like it has a spirit. True. Yay, we saved the spirit of a long lost dead mutant. Woo, our conscious is now clean. Is this like a part where it's in four sections and you have to go through each section? Three sections, really. Okay. And yet, every time you come out, you have to do a battling sequence. Woo! Structure for the win. Killing assholes and their skeletons. Are you sure you're not catching a cold, my friend? I'm sure. I just had. I just got over a cold. I might be dying for the plague, though. <coughs> if I die, I get I to have your orange juice. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. You know what? Just for predicting what I say, you don't get my orange juice. All right. I don't want your orange juice anyway. If I want to get orange juice, I'll go to Target. Get simply orange with mango. That is some good it shit. <laughs> go to Target, cough on all of them. <laughs> Touch them and you die, bitch. Two spirits remain. You're doing well, my dear. Mm, purple or gold? Purple mm. or gold? Not with, gonna with purple. No, wait, with I'll go with gold. What would I take? The monkey that makes me deaf, the monkey that makes me can't talk, or the monkey that I can't see? Uh, it's quiet. Gold monkey! Ooh. Goldilocks, Goldilocks, no, I no. fucked up. Now I'm gonna have to do some weird stuff. So what's she there for? Just for moral support? She's there because she pretty much plays a role in Deadpool's life. Because he, he, because he's technically immortal, he actually wants to die. Speak Remember, the reason why he's insane is because he has cancer in his head. Yeah, I know. Easy, I want to ride here. Don't mess this up for me. The reason why he's such a goofball and why he makes okay, all these please. jokes and whatnot originally is because he, it's, a, it's a coping mechanism that he used for his grim lifestyle. Yep. But the voices in his Excuse head and all that, that's friend. all from his tumor yeah, that he constantly like regenerates and heals over multiple times. I could have easily just end up killing everyone here. I just wanted to see what would happen if I just tried to be nice. I figured I might get an achievement or something saying, Congratulations, you have patience. Now go kill shit. The fact that I'm in line with other mutants. It's like, no, fuck this. I'm done. Damn. <laughs> Seriously, like, one shot, like, took out three guys in front of you. I used the fucking momentum move. Alright, ticket, please. But you just killed all my customers! Bitch. Ticket. Hell, I wouldn't expect Deadpool to take a ticket. I was expecting him to just get on and get going. Anyway, I think this is the one that you're supposed to do last. That way you can, uh... Get the whole achievement with the pirate hat. Yeah, this is definitely the one you have to do last. What's with the whole pirate hat thing? Uh, it's just an achievement. See? Look, I have a pirate hat now. Is the small world going to pop up any soon? Not really the small world, but more like the mind of Deadpool. I've already seen that many times before. <clears throat> Not really. No, well, it's always different every time. Yay! Upgrades! You know, it's kind of like how it is with uh, Joker about his past and everything like that. He said to himself, if he prefers to have a pass, he prefers it to be multiple choice. Because he's such a crazy fuck like that. <laughs> 